that wraps up season four for Haas. Head to the inbox. We got a lot going on. We're doing everything slowly, except for the refurbishments, because that's whatever. The board has high confidence in us, as they should. Jack doing scouting complete. Good. Pierre Gasly, he wants to thank... Pierre, just want to thank you personally for helping... For your help in taking me to the Drivers' Championship win. It was a great season, and this is an amazing way to end it. I'll be celebrating. I will all be celebrating, Pierre. Congratulations. You absolutely deserve it. Simon comes in with the car part development is locked. Simon immediately follows it up with, congratulations for winning the Constructors' Championship. It was absolutely a team effort, but our leadership, our leadership gave us an edge. Everyone is thrilled, and I'm sure there'll be a party to celebrate, try and rest up before next season. Earned it. Congratulations again. What a way to go. Ben, Michelle, it was fantastic seeing Pierre take home the Drivers' Championship. They are over the moon, and rightfully so. They couldn't have done it without you, though. Your guidance throughout the season meant that the race winning car under them and a great team at their back. A 2025 season results. We went over this a little bit in the last episode. But Pierre Gasly and Mick Schumacher complete the Haas 1-2. Max Verstappen in third with Charles Leclerc down in P4. In the constructors, Haas, Red Bull, and Mercedes round out the top three. Although it was really only a two-horse race for a majority of the season before. We kind of ran away with it down the stretch. Aston Martin finishes the season, finishes the season with zero points. Alpha Tauri manages to Williams in eighth with four Alfa Romeo 7th with 10, Alpine 18, McLaren 27, Ferrari 47. Ferrari had an absolutely horrendous season. Just absolutely horrendous. And I'm sure they'll be itching to get out of there. The board watched our race at Yas Marina. Pierre wins on a wild red flag on the last lap. And a championship success on behalf of the board. They want to extend a very eager congratulations for winning both the drivers and constructors championships the confidence has obviously been well placed and cannot be happier for the success or prouder of Haas what a truly fantastic season in formula one we won 19 of the 22 races in season four we had 30 podiums out of a possible 44 and we got 264 points on the old poopy point system what a crazy crazy season um as of right now i think the only thing that we can do otherwise is research but i think we're kind of in the same boat where nothing is going to get done in time um like a lot of these things take like a really long time we might be able to squeeze in like yeah it looks like we can squeeze in a suspension so we'll spend 200k on that. But other than that, not a whole lot going on. Mick does have a dev point. We'll be throwing it. We'll throw it in his reactions. We'll at least try and make his pace a little better for whomever picks him up. Any dev points before we move forward? No. Our pick crew ends the season at 84 on tire changes, by the way. We're going to be trying our darndest to be getting that. What does the calendar say? Is there an actual like official like end of the season? Right, we're gonna go forward to the board review actually we'll get our research completed first our chassis research is completed we do a lot of research into the chassis can we get another one finished in time or likely oh we can oh we're absolutely throwing in another one then um, we're, gonna, we're gonna get it as much as possible we will continue on our board performance review drivers championship one Pierre Gasly is your world champion in F1 and Haas F1 team is first place in the constructors. Let's go. Their target position was third. We got first. They gave us until 2028 to win a constructors championship and we did it in the first season that they gave us that. Constructors first. Uh, everything went up. I mean, our team rating went up by over 200. Our constructors went up by almost a 100. Our drivers went up by 93. And our heritage went up by 13. A beautiful season for us. Team rating is now a four and a bit. Board confidence is high and team bonus is $1.5 million. Our pit crew performance, of course, as always, somehow, bottoms out. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I mean, we're going to keep it on tire changes. Hopefully, that'll hit max. 
here soon. Here are the regulation changes for next season. Uh, horrific. Uh, the minor technical changes is nice. The sporting, the ER, ERS limit is down from three to two. Our sporting, our gearbox limit is down from five to four. And our engine limit is down from four to three. We lose one of each engine component. Absolutely horrific. Now, we need to have a conversation about one Mick Schumacher. I've been a vocal proponent for Mick in his four seasons with Haas since we took over in 2022. And you know, I, I gave Mick a lot more time than I think a lot of people would. But at the same time, he demonstrated this last season in a dominant car demonstrated by Pierre that he just couldn't, he couldn't get it done. He really couldn't. He has one week remaining on his contract and I think it's time. Mick, thank you for your four years with me at the Haas F1 team. We got you plenty of podiums, your first and second season out of nowhere, it seems. Your first wins in Formula One. Couldn't be prouder to have you around and you've laid the foundation for the future for Haas F1 team. But that said, we will not be renewing your contract and we will be scouting for a replacement. And now, there's been a lot of talk about who we're going to be replacing Mick with. There's been a lot of talk this season about Jack Dewan, who just started his F1 career with Williams, who pulled that Williams very high, considering where that Williams is. And as you can see here, the buyout is very low. As we can tell about his performance, he actually compares pretty decently, actually does pretty decently against Mick. There's a couple of things that he really suffers from as his smoothness is really bad and his defending is about the same and his adaptability is also pretty low. But his contract is obviously a lot less. Now, I did fall in love with Jack Dewan throughout this season, but I think he's still just a little too new. He has a bright future and I think he's definitely someone to keep an eye on, but I think it's just not going to be, it's not going to be the move. We did talk about trying to bring Lewis Hamilton out, but then I learned that um, once you retire, once I, uh, they retire, that like that's it, like they're just they're just gone. There was a lot of talk about one George Russell, whose salary was a meager two million this year, whose contract is also up. And if we compare him to McKeaton, George is better in obviously, obviously like every way. So George put on a good show, especially a strong finish to the season for sure. He's 27, not bad, finishing out his stint with Mercedes. Now, here's what we need to talk about. Lando Norris is better than Mick in every way, but I'm actually curious. How does he get George, man, George is better than every way. We need to make a decision about who George is better than every way. And his contract is, but his contract is going to be really big next season because this would be his first non Williams contract that was wrapping up. Accuracy is higher, his reactions are higher, his defending is lower, but I'm never too I'm never too worried about defending. Overtaking 91 to 88, adaptability 91 to 88, smoothness 93 to 89. Control is lower, but we can work on that. But it is still 91. As compared to Mick, as compared to Mick, either of these guys are extremely advantageous. That said, that said. That said, ladies and gentlemen, welcome Lando Norris. Oh, let me make sure. Lando Norris to the Haas F1 team. We got him. We got him. Boom. 
Look at that lineup. Oh, look at that lineup. Who was his race engineer at McLaren, by the way? Uh, I don't remember. Either way, it's fine. He'll he'll get used to uh, he'll get used to uh, to Chris. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Look at that lineup. Season five is gonna get wild. All I wanted was all I wanted was a pairing that would battle each other with the best car to show us some good solid racing and see what these guys can do. Welcome Lando Norris. The four seasons locked in to the Haas F1 team. We our uh, staff is pretty secure. We don't have to worry about them for a while. And driver changes, obviously everyone is still locked in. So we continue on. Our factory upgrade is completed. Our suspension research also is completed. Perfect. We will continue on. Weather center refurb complete. I mean, we have $48 million. We're gonna spend a lot of it. CFD sim up, wind tunnel, nope, nope, nope. We can't afford any of those things. I guess we could do the boardroom if we really wanted to. We could do the scouting department. Sure. I mean, I got money to burn at this point. Sure, do the boardroom, why not? We got money. We got money to burn. Research is completed on the chassis. We've made some big improvements on our research stuff. Side pods research also completed. Perfect. I think that's literally going to be the last thing until we get to the new season. Perfect. Our hospitality area. Uh oh. Kayla's got some points. Throw a couple into control. Lando has a point. You're going into cornering. Pierre has one. You're going into reactions. You're all good. Staff points. Yep. Front wing. Uh, DRS Delta. Crew management. We don't have one. All right, we have arrived pre-season prep. Welcome to the new season. Season five awaits for Haas F1 team. I mean, I'm not gonna. You don't make anything. Sure, let's make it cool to Millie. We're gonna try and up our weekly. Eh, you don't, you don't do anything. You don't do anything. Any. You don't do anything either. You do. Put 10 out to make an extra 700k a race. Sure. We'll confirm those. Confirm. All right. Our 2026 overview. Our board objective is third or above. I think this is actually last year. 2025. Yeah, our season objective is third or above. The 2025 was first. We have so much money. Man, we really... Put a, we put a lot into chassis and uh, all this stuff, but man, we really, we still lost a little bit, but we did put a lot. So there is that. Yep, we got a bunch of money. Our sporting changes, dumb. No, it's still the same poopy points. And we lost, and we lost the, uh, everything else. We are gonna be staying with Red Bull powertrains for the 2026 season. 
they did us pretty good the power being at 100 is definitely a big proponent i do enjoy that so we're going to be sticking with the red bull power trains this season and with that said that's the off season actually it is the we're gonna save we're gonna save this for the first episode of season five i can count see we'll save the driver changes all that stuff we made ours obviously this has been a great opportunity thank you guys so much for following along um, these videos will likely start slowing down now um now that we've won a drivers and a constructors i still want to do this but we start might start sprinkling in some other things i want to start a another series potentially have some fun um in f1 in f1 manager 22 i want to start doing more on my my team in f1 22 and so we're still going to be continuing our Haas save um i definitely don't want to slow down too much but at the same time we're gonna start sprinkling in some new stuff to you know really nail it in so but with that said though that wraps up season four thank you guys so much for following me along and i'll see you guys for the start of season five.